morning, everyone. Let's pray the novena to our mother of perpetual health. Please stand and let's sing Immaculate Mother. Immaculate Mother, do you do we plead to ask God our Father for help in our need. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. We pray for our country, the land of our birth. We pray for all nations that peace be on earth. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, as children of our beloved mother, we are gathered before her miraculous feature to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all God's mercy and pardon. All together, please. Merciful, Merciful Father, Father, you send your divine Son, Son to redeem us, us by his by death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten the sublime dignity. We are sins against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us. Repent sincerely of our sins. We ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Please remain standing and let's sing Mary Immaculate Star of the Morning. Mary Immaculate Star of the Morning Chosen before the creation begun Destined to bring to 
Divina Prayer. Please kneel. Dear Mother of Perpetual Health, from the cross Jesus gave you to us for our mother, you are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. Please post to recall your petitions. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly share in the, in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God. You accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases us to love us, that he answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine son. Help us to realize that he who shares the, share, the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same. While praying for our intentions and for all the intentions of all here present at this novena, we earnestly ask you, our mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, lighten the burden of the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin which separate us from our Heavenly Father and from one another full of trust in you. We place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your powerful help. Amen. Prayer for the home. Mother of perpetual help, we choose you as our queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tenderly motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loved his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of the day. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a heaven of peace like our own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind, amen. <clears throat> Petitions to our mother, perpetual help. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Virgin, conceived without sin, pray for us. Our mother of perpetual help, Pray for us. We sinners call to you. Loving Mother, help us. That we may rejoice with you at Christ's victory over sin and death. Loving Mother, help us. That we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men. Loving Mother, help that us. That we may be more and more like our divine Lord as you were. Loving Mother, help that us. That we may be meek and humble of heart like your son, Jesus. Loving Mother, help us. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever but unrepentant sin. Loving Mother, help that us. That we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, help us. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother, help us. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother, help us. That we may realize the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. 
loving mother help us that we may grow in the love of christ and neighbor by frequent communion loving mother help us that we may be reverence our bodies as temples of the holy spirit loving mother help us that we may strive to be true christians by our loving concern for others loving mother help us that we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously loving mother help us that we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us loving mother help us that we may see the evil of seeking our own interest in at the expense of others loving mother help us that we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods loving mother help us that we may share our talents with others for the good of the community loving mother help us that we may accept our responsibility in the community in the spirit of genuine service loving mother help us to pray that the holy spirit may guide and strengthen pope francis the bishops and the clergy loving mother help us that we may be blessed with an increase in priestly and religious vocations loving mother help us that we may bring the knowledge and love of christ to those who do not know him loving mother help us that we may be aware of our dependence in god in the midst of human achievements loving mother help us that we may ready may be ready at death at to enter the home of our heavenly father loving mother help us that we may die at peace with christ and our fellow men loving mother help us that we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen lord loving mother help us to pray that our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your son's resurrection loving mother help us let us pray in silence for our own intentions please pause to recall your petitions All together Holy Mary help us in our needs pray for all the people of God may all experience your perpetual help Lord you gave us Mary to be our mother ever ready to help us grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs amen consecration first Wednesday of the month Immaculate Virgin Mary mother of God and mother of the church you are also our mother of perpetual help. With hearts full of love for you, we concentrate ourselves to your immaculate heart so that we may be your devoted children. Obtain for us through sorrow for our sins and fidelity to the promises of our baptism. We concentrate our minds and hearts to you that we may always do the will of our heavenly Father. We concentrate our lives to you, that we may love God better and live not for ourselves, but for Christ, your Son, and that we may see him and serve him in others. By this humble act of consecration, dear Mother of Perpetual Health, we pledge to mother our lives on you, the perfect Christians, so that consecrated to you in life and in death, we may belong to your divine son for all eternity. Please stand and let's sing Mother of Christ. <clears throat> Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, what shall I ask of thee? I do not so
Thanksgiving prayer, please kneel. Please pause for your Thanksgiving petitions. <coughs> All together, Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in all goodness dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and do penance for them. Through you, we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well, so that through them we may grow in love for him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of his love, to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual health. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession and especially through the Novena, inspire us to greater confidence in God's loving mercy and her perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in his love. To the most holy trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the sick. Please post to recall your petitions. All together, Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayers for the sick. Grant us to our way down with pain and other afflictions of illness. May you realize that they are among the chosen ones whom you call blessed. Help them to understand that they are united with you in your sufferings for the salvation of the world. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Memorari. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly to you. O Virgin of Virgins, my mother, to you I come before you. I stand sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Lord incarnate, despite not my petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. Please stand and let cling the final hymn, Mother, dearest, Mother, fairest. <laughs> Mother, dearest, Mother, fairest, help of all who call on thee. Virgin, pure.
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, and God bless us all. Stand for the Regina Celli. The name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Queen of Heaven, rejoice, Hallelujah. 
has risen as he said, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God. Let us pray, O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant we beseech thee that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Prayer for vocations. Heavenly Father, in every generation, you provide servants for Christ and the church. We come before you now, asking that you call forth more young men and women to serve our church in the priesthood, diaconate, and consecrated life. Bless us with many vocations so that we can continue to be a truly Eucharistic church and a community strengthened in our discipleship of Jesus Christ. Raise up, we pray, men and women who are generous in their service, willing to offer their lives and all their gifts for your greater glory and the good of your people. We make our prayer in the presence and power of the Holy Spirit through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you.
receive the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, now that we are on Wednesday of the week of Easter, let us now pause for a while and call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to people on earth. We praise praise you, we bless you, you, we adore you, we we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God, Heavenly King, King, O God, God, Almighty Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Jesus Christ, Christ, only begotten begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us year by year with the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection, graciously grant that by celebrating these present festivities, we may merit through them to reach eternal joys through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter and John were going up to the temple area for the three o'clock hour of prayer. And a man crippled from birth was carried and placed at the gate of the temple called the Beautiful Gate every day to beg for alms from the people who entered the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked for alms. But Peter looked intently at him, as did John, and said, Look at us. He paid attention to them, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I have neither silver nor gold, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, rise and walk. Then Peter took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles grow strong. He leaped up, stood and walked around, and went into the temple with them, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the one who used to sit begging at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with amazement and astonishment at what had happened to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, our response will be Alleluia. 
Give thanks to the Lord, invoke his name, make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Alleluia. Glory in his holy name, rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength, seek to serve him constantly. Alleluia. Your descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones. He, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. Alleluia. He remembers forever his covenant, which made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into Abra with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus, and they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them. For their eyes, but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, what are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped looking downcast. One of them named Cleophas said to him in reply, are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place there in these days? Then he replied to them, what sort of things? They said to him, the things that happened to Jesus the Nazarene, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people. How our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those with us went to the tomb and found things just as the women had described, but him they did not see. And he said to them, oh, how foolish you are, how slow of heart to believe all that the prophet spoke. Was it not necessary that the Christ would suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going on farther. But they urged him, stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. And it happened that while he was with them at table, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it and gave it to them. With that, their hearts were opened and they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us? 
So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem, where they found gathered together the eleven and those with them who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way, and now was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When, whenever we talk about the Eucharist, especially when it comes to Eucharistic adoration, sometimes we remember the words of Jesus to his three closest disciples in the Garden of Gethsemane. And that is something that we remember whenever we take time to adore the Lord in our altar of repose. It's the Lord telling his friends, could you not stay with me for just an hour? Because eventually they slept. Well, you can't blame them because, you know, if you go to a Passover celebration, you drink a lot of wine, right? Uh, maybe at the very least you have five servings of wine and that is just part of the ritual. So if you're going to have a meal, then probably you have, may have taken up more wine. Okay. Now, I'd like to make our practice of loving the Eucharist not centered on the Garden of Gethsemane. I want you to look at our desire to be with the Eucharist, especially, you know, after, after this Mass, we will be exposing the Lord in, um, here in the church for Eucharistic adoration. I want you to take as the basis of reflection this journey of those two disciples on the road to Emmaus. And it is not anymore the Lord telling his disciples, could you not stay with me for an hour? This time, it was those two disciples after their hearts were burning within them while they were with the Lord. They themselves said, Lord, stay with us. Stay with us. For evening draws near. I saw a tabernacle in Italy. Um, it is a church dedicated to St. Francis and um, engraved on the tabernacle were these words, stay with us, Lord, for evening draws near. Then I realized, indeed, that these words, which were the words spoken by the disciples before Jesus broke the bread with them on that first day of the week, probably the first Mass that Jesus celebrated on a Sunday, right? Um, he broke the bread, and that's when they recognized it was the Lord. And I hope that instead of the Lord telling us, stay within, stay for an hour, I hope we can reflect what those disciples said because they really found that indeed the Eucharist is not just something imposed. That the presence of the Lord in the Word, which the Lord broke down with them. So it, the complete celebration is not just, uh, you know, when I was growing up, um, uh, my, my, uh, and this is an old way of looking at the Mass. Uh, my, whenever I tell my confessor, bless me, Father, for I have sinned, I was late for Mass, my confessor will tell me, what time did you arrive in the Mass? As long as you arrive just before offertory, then you're okay. That's how it was before. Okay? But if you look at the scriptures, their hearts were burning within them when the scriptures was broken down. That's why the entire mass is not, uh, we don't look at, okay, I'll just, it's okay for me to arrive mass late. No. The, you know, the way we understand the mass grows. And especially we look at scriptures, we realize that this part of the mass is very important, right? 
that entire journey, that entire journey, when they're, why did they recognize the Lord? Because their hearts were ready. Their hearts were burning within them because the Lord had opened it in the breaking of the word in Scripture. Okay? And that led to a better understanding of recognizing Jesus in the breaking of the bread. And I hope we have a clearer understanding of the beauty of our celebration of the Eucharist. This table of the word is important which leads us to say, stay with us, Lord. And I hope this will make our hearts burn and we listen to the voice of Jesus in our hearts. May we have that appreciation. May we have that understanding of scriptures. And we're in our gathering here, our desire to kneel and be in the presence of the blessed sacrament is not just the Lord telling us what to do. It is our hearts telling us we need the Lord. And let's ask him to stay with us because evening draws near. one heart and one voice, let us raise our hearts to the Lord in faith and trust. For the church, may God grant her wisdom and fortitude in helping all people come to know Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Reason, Lord, hear us. For civic leaders, may God grant them the courage to work tirelessly to defend the dignity and sanctity of human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear us. For all who are suffering in any way, may God make his abiding presence known to them as they endure their trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear us. For this assembly, may God help us turn our prayers here into action in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear us. For the souls of the faithful departed, may they, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear us. For those who are sick and all those included in the church bulletin, that they may receive the healing power of God, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear us. In prayer for the thanksgiving of Roxanne Spencer, for whom this Mass is intended, we pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear us. For our own personal intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray too for the birth intentions of Jenny Oano and John Bernales, for the thanksgiving of Vicente Layao, for the good health and healing of James Bautista, Julie Milo, Olivia Toledo Balan, and Lita Asciote and for the repose of the souls of Rolando Florendo, Celestina Murillo, Lourdes Muirong, and Leticia Vasquez. And let's also pray for the repose of the soul of Father Pius Pareja, whose ordination anniversary we commemorate also today. We pray to the Lord. Praise the Lord, Lord, hear us. And God our Father, we raise to you our prayers in confidence and trust. And all these petitions we offer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, we ask you to receive us and accept the sacrifice with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice which has redeemed the human race and be pleased to accomplish in us salvation of mind and body through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, and at all times to acclaim you, Lord, but on this day above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land and every people exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Amen. You are indeed holy, O Lord the font of all holiness, and make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church. Spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy, 
Remember also our brothers and sisters have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that with the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be to you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those who are called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The disciples recognized the Lord Jesus in the breaking of the bread. Alleluia.
Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that the reverent reception of the sacrament of your Son may cleanse us from our old ways and transform us into a new creation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us, in, us battle. in battle. Be our, Be our protection, protection against, against the wickedness and snares, and snares of the devil. devil. May God give you, me humbly pray, that thou prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Mary, Mother of the Church. Pray for us. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. O salut, o salut, o salut, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was, was in the, the beginning, beginning, is now, now and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it, it was, was in the, the beginning, beginning, is now, now and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the, the beginning, beginning, is now, and ever and will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving 